What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another stipulation draft here in the core set cube. I'm hopping right into this thing. One of eight. Uh, so now we have a good amount of time to uh, to explain the stipulation. This was by Dan B., um, a frequent YouTube viewer from Australia. And uh, Dan has supported the stream uh, several times with things like stipulations and whatnot. Um, and this stipulation is draft a white or a green-white enchantment deck or a black or black-red well, I guess black red sacrifice deck. So we're trying for the sacrifice deck or the green white enchantment deck. Those are our those are our options here. Hopefully we get it. I think we'll know within the first few picks or first pack or so whether we get it. Um, it would be super awkward if we had to audible and do it for a different draft. But um, wow, someone's username is if he dies he dies. That's fantastic. If he dies he dies. That's uh that's Ivan Drago from Rocky. If you guys didn't know referring to uh, Apollo Creed. So, who's on the picture on the pause overlay? It's uh, Larry David, the creator of Seinfeld and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Also, uh, give it up for Stan today. Give it up for Stan. Like, it's it's funny to think about, but, like, the things Stanley created will literally last forever. Uh, I can't imagine a time where these characters are not still around, short of the, the Earth being obliterated. But uh, there's enough there's enough content there's enough intellectual properties um, that in some way shape or form the things Stan has created will presumably live on forever. So thanks, friend. <laughs> time for nine more subs for stan oh man you guys <laughs> josh dude yeah, brutal why is this taking so long this key was very fun there we go all right so we're looking at green white enchantments oh look at this guy this is basically magic saying what if we take the sun titan and the satyr tables josh <laughs> josh dude Oh my god. Where does it say Josh has given 7,000... 118 gifted subs. Wow. Thank you. Josh, that's not a reasonable amount of gifted subs, buddy. Thank you. Josh, thank you, buddy. As always, uh, I lack the words to express my appreciation. Thank you. That's ridiculous. I think we just want the Enchanter. Sun Titan's so good, though, right? Thank you. I'm going to take the Enchanter. I'm going to stick true to the stipulation. I think this might have come back, but I don't want to risk that. So Thank you. that's what you got to do. Thank you. Josh, you are a, Thank you. a ridiculous dude. And I am grateful for that ridiculousness. Because it is support at its finest, my friend. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature you... There's no enchantments in this pack, unfortunately. Well, I guess there's treetop bracers, but that's not great. I think it's either... I think it's probably Ant Queen. Ant Queen's probably got the biggest impact, right? Put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature you control. Is it a Johnny or Ant Queen? I'm going to let you guys decide. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm doing my annual bonus soon and want to spread the love. Josh, appreciate it, buddy. The fact that you, uh, the fact that I am one of the, uh, the things you want to spread the love on, I appreciate that. All right, Josh says Ajani, so I'm just going to take the Ajani because of that. That's good enough for me. Ooh, mitotic slime. Ooh, Spectra Ward. Ooh, doing it. That's the dream we want. Mm. 
That's that's what we're doing here. I'm gonna take the Spectre Ward. I don't think it's even remotely close. This card is busted. And and you know what they say. <sighs> I'm about to bust. Um, there's no enchantments in this pack. I don't think we want Arch Druid. I think we just probably want Knight of the White Orchid. Acidic Slime also very very good actually. Maybe I want the Acidic Slime, but I do want cheaper guys. Yeah, Spectre Ward in the enchantment deck, and we get to draw a card. Gas. Uh, I think it's night. Uh, I took the night. Uh, enchantments, enchantments. Oh, prodigious growth. All right, this is actually perfect. I'm enjoying what we're seeing right here. Definitely taking prodigious growth here. Man, I feel like I feel like we're getting the good ones. Which is pretty nice. <coughs> also, seeing both of these come come toward us is uh I, I like that's I'm a fan of that sign there. That's a good sign. Oromancer? For the enchantment deck? I'm going to take this guy all day. <sighs> did we pass a pacifism? I feel like we did. Oh, well. That's life. That's what all the people say. Flying high and more rich than you. Not down by me. It might just be Deadly Recluse, especially with, like, either one of these on it. Like, it's just a two-drop. It's very good. It's a it's a solid two-drop. I don't want seven mana Sarah Avatar. Obelisk is not going to do anything for us. So. Come on. Um, <clears throat> mobilization is an enchantment, actually. I want to take the mobilization. That's utterly insane. That's ridiculous. All we need is, like, Glade Cover Scout now. Thank you. <laughs> Brian, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, my God. Ten thank subs for Stan. Really appreciate it, Brian. You are the best, buddy. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Oh, man. You guys. Thank you. You guys. <clears throat> Sarah Angel came back? Treetop Bracers came back. That's pretty interesting. Shannon Cruz, you came and blocked this about creature with flying plus one plus one. I don't know if that's great. I think it's probably just Sarah Angel here. Sarah Angel with a Spectre Ward on. It's Thank pretty you. insane, right? Yeah, we're going to take that. Oh, uh, I do like an Invoke. <clears throat> I don't care about Captain's Thank Call. You. Yeah, I'll take the Invoke. Thank you. The thank yous are in full force today. I'll take a Felwar Stone. <coughs> Man, you guys are the heroes we need, but not the heroes we deserve. Ooh, Brave the Elements. Harm's Way and Reprisal, huh? Harm's Way is actually pretty good. I'm going to take the Harm's Way. All right, so the white is definitely open. Did Twitch get in touch with you? Not yet. I actually, I emailed them last week. I don't know if I mentioned that. 
Um, I messaged them obviously last week. I don't know if it's obvious, I guess. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good times. So I said, so I says to Twitch, I says, hey, Twitch, I got all these months with my subs. And they were like, oh, I see. Let's, let's get, we'll get back to you. And I was like, okays. I don't know where the, I don't know where the email is now. <clears throat> yeah. So that was, that was about, uh, that was five days ago. And they're like, yeah, we're going to. Someone should be in contact with you once they've done a final review. So we'll see. Yep. Sigil of the Empty Throne is gasoline. Oh, Vivian Reed and Resplendent Angel. Both of these are gosh darn good. Oh, gosh darn good. What are we taking here, guys? This I don't know. Man, look at this M19 pack, dude. Vivian, Tezzeret, Resplendent Angel. This is like the mythic M19 pack. I don't even want to make of it. I have no idea what to take here. I I think it's I think it's Resplendent Angel. I think it's Angel. I, I I love Vivian Reed. Don't get me wrong. Please don't get me wrong, guys. I'm asking you nicely not to get me wrong. Soul of Theros? Or just El I think Elvish Rejuvenator is also very good here. It rumps us, it rumps us to five. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Um, Soul of Theros is very good, though. Six mana. We don't have another six mana card yet, so we'll just have the two. Thopter Spy Network seems great. Yeah, it's probably better than just a random rejuvenator, especially when we have Fell Warstone. If you activate this once, it's pretty busted. Ka-ching! <clears throat> Oh boy, what does Blind Angel do? Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, they skip their next combat phase? That's pretty good. Do I just want the Ranger's Guile? Do you guys smell that? It smell like boggles to you? Hugh, 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 hugh. Alright, so we have. I wish this cost four instead, but that's probably pretty strong. I kind of just like Ranger's Guile because we have so many enchantments here. Oh, first response is an enchantment. Interesting. I'm intrigued. So I think it's either Thorn Seeker, which is very, very good, um, or First Response. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the Thorn Lieutenant. Not I said I said oh Primeval Bounty. Not only is it an enchantment, it is bonkers. Oh, that's gas. Our deck is really good. Oh man, this is awesome. <gasps> Oh boy. Actually, Glorious Anthem might even be better. <clears throat> it took a little too much off the top. I don't even know what to take here. This has gone this has gone better than I expected. We only have nine creatures. I think it's actually Mesa Enchantress, maybe. Now it's gotta be Glorious Anthem, right? Because we have so many ways to make tokens here. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Glorious Anthem. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh, you guys want an Enchantress? Because I was thinking of like the angels. I was also thinking of mobilization tokens. I was thinking of these angels. I was thinking of the three threes. I don't know. Any enchantments here? Nothing? Nothing? I'll just take this in case you want to splash a red card. Chastise is fine. I like a chastise. It's a reasonable removal spell. Uh, Hushwing Griff is also good. Honor of the Pure came back. Not bad. Or do we want True Believer? Hmm. <clears throat> Most of our creatures are white creatures. I'll take this guy. I think it's just more versatile. Celestial Flare, also not bad. Also playable. Search for an equipment. Oh, man, I wish that search for an enchantment. I would play it if it did that. We're already at 24 cards. <laughs> Seems pretty good. Oh my god, it's the true believer for Stan. Fantastic. Oh, man. That's gas, Brian. That's really great. I'm a fan of that. Ooh, Path of Bravery and Fertile Ground. Let's see what's better here. As long as your life total is greater than your star level, they get 1 1 1. Whenever one of our creatures attacks, you gain life field number of attacks. So if we attack with four guys, we gain four. And as long as our life total is above 20, our guys get plus one, plus one. I l might like Fertile Ground better. <clears throat> I think this would probably table, to be quite honest. I just want to be able to ramp. I want to be able to not. I don't. Even if I miss a third land drop, I still want to be able to cast my things. And both Thalar Stone and Fertile Ground let me do that, so. Alrighty then. Verdant Haven. I kind of like War Priest of Thune here just to get rid of obnoxious enchantments. I don't think we need. I don't think we need Faith Mender or Verdant Haven or Bugler. We don't really need any of these creatures or cards, so I'm just going to take the War Priest of Thune to have on the sideboard. Because, like, if they have a Grave Pact or a Sphinx's Tutelage, like, I just want to be able to kill it. <clears throat> Overrun, hey? Mm, Devouring Light is solid. I'll take Devouring Light. Oh, man. I'm so... I'm actually really excited about this True Believer for Stan. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2. Okay. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> Overrun seems great, but we don't actually have that many creatures. So. Uh, I'm going to sideboard True Believer for now. I think. Brave the Elements can get out of here, I guess. <gasps> Blessed Spirits, another creature that works well with enchantments. My god, we're actually... This this deck turned out fantastic. Uh, we can get rid of Griff because it's just a generic guy for now. Um, Chastise is fine, but it's... Like, we need to make cuts, so I'm going to double your life total, shuffle it in. Armored Ascension. Yeah, we're probably going to play Armored Ascension here. Take Deadly Recluse out. I'll board you in if I have to. So this is what I'm, this is what I'm looking at for our 23 so far. <clears throat> How many enchantments do we have? This is great. Wow. Nine so far. That's gas. And how many Enchantment Matters cards do we have? Kind of Glade Cover Scout as well. So five. This is pretty sweet. This deck's looking great. <clears throat> oh, Captain of the Watch? Oh, Vernal Bloom? I don't care about Vernal Bloom because like, we're not going to have that many forests. I'm just going to take Captain. Captain's very good. Might be better than might be better than Soul of Theros. 
I'm pretty sure the Glade Cover Scout has an angelic destiny. Or, oh, Hyromancer's Cage? That's an enchantment, and it's also very good. It also might have a Spectre Word, but that does not actually have the same effect in when you speak it. Effect, motherfucker, do you speak it? <clears throat> With two, a theme, Captain is good. To a theme? I don't know what that... What are you even saying right now? Path of Bravery did come back, as we predicted. I don't think I want Cleansing Nova. <clears throat> Good lord. Cut the harm's way, I guess. We need one more cut. I like Ranger's Guile because we want to protect the creatures who put these on. Oh, two anthems. Captain is good. I agree with that. That makes sense. <clears throat> Do we have two anthems? I guess Captain is an anthem, right? And then Glorious Anthem is an anthem. I'm not sure if we're playing the Path of Bravery. However, it might be better than Glorious Anthem. I don't know. The life gain is definitely better for Angel. I mean, we're going to have to make some cuts here for sure. Well, a cut anyway. Uh, it would remove auras that are already there if they're not the, if they're not this one, <clears throat> I believe. Oh, it doesn't remove auras. Oh, I thought it would just didn't remove this one. Oh, that's crazy. That card's really strange. No, we didn't take the honor. We took the true believer instead. I'm just gonna take Verdant Haven here. Actually, maybe it's Faith Mender. Maybe we got some kind of life gain deck here. Eh, Mystifying Maze might be playable. Pig, 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 pig. A little throwback there for you guys. Mend that faith. <clears throat> oh, we can just swap the green out for black. And this is an enchantment. And we can play Rock's Faith Mend or Sanguine Bond. What do you guys think about that? I might want to just call it Felwar Stone here. Oh, we get to add a we get to add a card here. If we cut the Felwar Stone. Green seems very good though. Green is also providing us with primeval bounty and prodigious growth, so I don't think we're doing that. Well, Path would only deal one, right? Because we'd gain one life and they would they would take one. So it would be a two-point life swing, but they would only deal one, right? Unless I'm missing something. <clears throat> oh, with rocks. Oh, yeah, that's definitely different. I mean, it's definitely an option. What up, Mike? Good seeing you, buddy. I figured I'm really bad at this cube draft. Well, that is a thing. That is a thing. <clears throat> I actually might like Path better than Glorious Anthem, especially with Resplendent Angel. We also have two creatures in our deck that for six mana give plus two, plus two, and lifelink, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, I like this better. I want Stan in the deck, just to have Stan in the deck. I don't think we... We might not even need the Oromancer, to be quite honest. <clears throat> because a lot of our enchantments are not going to the graveyard, but if they do... Our deck looks insane. I might actually just want Felwar Stone and take out Oromancer. Or we could just go 41 again. I do like I do like Path of Bravery in the deck. Alright, we're just gonna play it like this, I think. <clears throat> so 
Do we have any double double green cards? Only at turn seventeen thousand. Yeah, that seems good. All right, let's do it. This deck is exciting. <clears throat> So, just gonna just sitting here waiting, you know, just doing the. Like you do. Oh, man. Dan, if you're watching, I hope this stipulation has uh, sated your, your green white enchantment appetite. Because I'm excited. <clears throat> Um, you know what? We'll keep it. We have nine more planes in the deck. And also, if we hit one planes, it should be two planes, especially because we're on the draw here, which is very, very nice. Very nice. One time planes. Don't do me, don't do me dirty magic online. Oh, a double white card. It's that, it's that sweet phenomenon where, um, yeah, I'm actually regretting the path because I'm like, yeah, if we don't have, I don't want to take out creatures for it, so. Come on, planes one time, one time, one time. Great. <clears throat> we need a planes here because if we played a forest, we'd have to play a planes as our third land, which means not being able to cast this next turn. Whereas right now, it's just great because then we can we can fire right into Sarah Sarah Angel, which is super good. Okay, well this is fine. And we get to get up Ranger's Guile now, which is super nice. <clears throat> Can I ask Chad a tech question? Yeah, go for it. The sub counter broke? Did it? Looks like it's five. It's five eleven, right? Exile target creature and pun controls. Yep, we're just gonna banish her. We're gonna Ranger's Guile this because I don't want to take five here, and I don't want to just lose a creature either. So, <clears throat> so. Oh, never mind. There you go. All right, cool. We're good then. Um, it's either Sarah Angel or Johnny's Chosen into Glorious Anthem. I think it's just Sarah here. <clears throat> they can tap her down, but. Yeah, this is fine. So, because if we play Glorious Anthem next turn, we're, like, guaranteed a body from this guy. But we're already guaranteed a body from just playing them next turn anyway. So, if we actually play this and draw a two-drop, like, uh, Fertile Ground or True Believer, we can also play those. So. Oh, they didn't do anything. That's nice to... That's nice. So, I assume they're going to tap down Sarah of Angel, Sarah of Angel here. <clears throat> yep. Had a feeling. So next turn, if we draw a second enchantment, being able to go Glorious Anthem into, like, Angelic Destiny would be insane. Oh, they didn't do anything. This is, this is working out quite well. Quite, quite well. <clears throat> Enchantment, go! <laughs> Tap down my angel. You got it. This seems like a pretty easy attack, especially when we're throwing down a Thorn Lieutenant here.
Is this an alpha? Is this an alpha Romeo? Um, block you, block you, block you, I guess. So if they have like plus two, plus O, oh, I guess that's fine. All right. Maybe they're just going to wrath the board, which is weird because they have Banisher Priest and... What? That's so weird. <clears throat> like the aggressive the aggressive white deck just not oh wow yeah let's do that one two three four five six seven eight we're just gonna play the land because if we draw a land next turn uh we don't want it to We want to be able to play it so we can make three guys. I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> wow, mobilization was a great draw there. Sure, this is all fine. Oh, they didn't attack. I don't know if they can beat a mobilization. Welp, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. These both have first strike, but if we give this guy first strike, he kills both of them. So that's pretty okay. Put a 1-1 counter on each creature, you can draw a loyalty counter on each other Planeswalker. Is that just better? Because then if this attacks, oh god. Yeah, I feel like they're just taking this. Oh, man. This is great. Our deck is great. We're having a good time. You guys don't like this new Frank? <clears throat> All right, this is fine. This alpha here, that would that would seem real bad. Okay, so it gets plus two, plus oh, and lifelink. So we're gonna play this. One, two, three. We're gonna make a bunch of guys here and then give them all counters. Oh, we could have negative seven there, huh? Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> that's not even... I don't even care about that, really. So, uh... Thanks, but no thanks. So they either block here or we get an angel, so that's cool. Oh, it doesn't have lifelink. I'm an idiot. Never mind. I'm stupid. I don't know how things work anymore. We're just throwing games away. They attack with just this, I guess. That's pretty good. Oh, that's very good. Now we're talking. Oh man, I thought this was—I thought this has. Why do I always think this has lifelink? I guess because its ability is so like connected to lifelink. Yep, that seems good. Anyway, we'll just we'll just give this plus one an attack with it, so that's fine. Oh man. Oh man, what is even happening right now? Gains, yeah, that's, giving this plus would have probably been better, but <clears throat> oh well. Still gets Vigilance, so that's cool. These guys are problematic, though. Oh my god, can you imagine if, like, Devouring Light is the last card in their hand? I would cry. 
We both have mobilization. We both have mo one one anthem. <clears throat> This does not have first strike though, which is where we really, because if this had first strike, it would deal the damage to the angel first, and then all their guys would be so good on blocks. We don't get make it when we get eight eight right. That seems silly. That's not worth two tokens. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can just pass here. Yeah, this Archangel of Thune is going to get another hit, but we have double blockers for it, so I'm not really terribly concerned with it. Yep, that is fine. We're also making three guys a turn to their, like, one guy a turn. Oh, but... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. That's scary. Oh, this guy's got lifelink, too? Oh, wow. What is even happening? What is, what is, what is even? This is a pretty bonkers draw. God, Archangel of Thune is very strong. Did they not attack there? Oh, I'm really afraid of the mobilization now because of the Soul Ward, and I actually should have made guys in response. They gain three. All their guys get plus one, plus one. I can't even make guys here. Oh, God. This is brutal. Oh, they actually have to block here, though. Oh, this is good. Yeah, so we can actually get the, the angel off the board here, or else they die. Oh, this is good. This is okay. Yep. All right, so that's <clears throat> that's reasonable then. I think that's okay. And we had first strike, so they didn't actually get a trigger. All right. Um. Yep. That's. Yep. Yeah, that's actually significantly better. <laughs> okay, so now we're good. That's all we had to do. Yeah, if we activated this last turn, it would have they would have been able to take it because they would have been at uh, 11 and then we, they would get yeah this is actually fine because of the angel being gone not like we have a choice anyway but this guy being an 8-5 is pretty busted but even if they go to 17 we still have 17 on board <coughs> so this is actually a lot more than I they actually they can't attack with this guy right because then we just block and no pumps because we don't have the mana to pump. Dang it. That is unfortunate. I guess we can double block with two angels. That seems fine. That seems just fine. Wow, this is aggressive. Uh, if we attacked with... We only had one angel at a time, for one. And two, if we attacked with this, they get a free block here. So that seems terrible. It's actually not five free damage because... Uh, they can block... Oh, this gets first strike, though. Actually, you might be right. If we activated this, it would have been first strike. Yeah, you're 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 correct, and I'm a dummy. <clears throat> I wasn't thinking about the first strike at the time. When I attacked, it didn't have first strike, so... Um, let's block. So, you're going at a Johnny. All of you are going at a Johnny. Oh, I guess they just... I guess they just gave up. I quit. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. This is where War Priest of Thune and Invoke come in. I actually didn't see many things for the Ranger's Guile. We saw Banisher Priest, but that's pretty much it. <coughs> Take out the Path of Bravery, I guess. Oh, 
I like Devouring Light here. That seems great against their stupid angel. Um, take out Stan for now. Yeah, Ormancer could be good. I just don't know what to cut. Like, our deck is looking... I like the way this deck looks already. All of our cards are already so good. I have like friends <clears throat> I have like friends of mine posting pictures of Stanley and uh, my friend Henry actually posted this and he was like our world is a bit less super today I was given the opportunity to spend a few hours every day with Stan wouldn't let wouldn't let you call him Mr. Lee during Silicon Valley Comic Con despite the hectic schedule and occasional curmudgeonry he always had love for his fans and the great works that inspired them he even signed my helmet saying that Lucas fella is onto something rest in peace Stan Oh, man. This deck doesn't like to draw planes, I guess. I've been teared up all day too. I'm in like I'm 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 holding it back, man. <clears throat> like I can hear his voice. I've been hearing his voice in my head all day because it's such a great he's like the classic, like it's just a very recognizable oh man, no planes. Very recognizable voice, you know. I'm gonna keep this because we have Thorn Lieutenant. Any land on top is good. If it's double white, we're in great shape, but the odds of that are low, obviously. But we also have to, I mean, any white lets us play priest like our, this hand is not terrible and I don't really want to go to five yep bottom okay so if we can just hit five lands off the top just just keep running we're good to go but uh, you know I have my doubts <clears throat> One Excelsior buck. Steven, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Okay, well, that's not what we're looking for here. <clears throat> this world just feels a little less bright, you know? It's hard to explain. It's a weird feeling.
Nope, that's not it either. Well, this is this is going downhill fast. Next game. No, we're not dead yet. I mean, if we can draw like planes, planes, like it's actually very good. Like we can still definitely get out of this, uh, depending on what they're doing here. Uh, well, see, that's much harder, especially because this guy does not kill. Human, 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 human. All right, so that's worse. That's definitely worse. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's try to draw planes in our uh, primarily white deck. That seems like a good decision. This is also why I brought in the Invoke. That's uh, not a card we want to be... I don't want to be messing with no <coughs> Obelisk of Erds. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to go to six forests because we have double green cards. And we also want green early for things like fertile ground and thorn lieutenant. The only reason, I mean, like it's not statistically accurate that we shouldn't be hitting uh, planes. Like it's just anomalies, but we do want to actually have green early, especially like turn one glade cover scout or turn two fertile ground. So weird. I mean, I'll keep this because the Johnny can be cast off of one white, but. Seven, we have seven forests and we hit three of them. We have ten planes, we hit one of them. Got all the green cards? I mean, we actually could. It's definitely a possibility. Um, Brave the Elements is kind of worth considering, but... I mean, it's only going to be like a blocking situation. They don't really have a bunch of target removal that we're protecting them from, so... All right, now we're talking. All right, so if we get to actually just play a Johnny next turn on an empty on a pretty empty board, it's actually very good. Oh, I see. I see. Well, the board is no longer empty. Oh, interesting. Would you look at that? I want to take out one of these guys because without them having a guy on board, um, I don't know if this is a great play, but... Oh, actually, we have Path of Bravery. Or not, not Path, we have War Priest of Thune. This is actually just fine. <clears throat> yeah this is all fine none of these guys are super threatening to us hmm well that's a thing isn't it oh that's a thing isn't it <clears throat> 
All right, so if we play this guy, they can attack him with a, at least a Johnny would take three, but he's going up one. We also get to keep up light, so that's good. Vigilance, First Strike, and Lifelink are all very relevant abilities. I assume you're just taking three here. So block, block, but Johnny takes three. I mean, they could have, like, Day of Judgment here, but again, like, we get to sit with an Johnny and a Johnny's chosen. A Johnny picked this guy. Hand pick this creature. Can you even imagine? Yeah, that's why I, yeah, that's why I did this, so I can keep the Convoke up. Yikes. Well, that's pretty good. <clears throat> that is pretty good. I need an invoke now because you have drawn this every game. Except for the one we won. <laughs> Coincidentally. They chose human. These are just soldiers. These are not human soldiers. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. That was huge. That's the same as like attacking with your angel and not realizing it doesn't have lifelink. Wow! That's basically a blank. Oh man, that was brutal. I mean, like if they play, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> if they play anything after that, that's a human, it's fine because it's just going to be a one for one. The fact that their five guys didn't get the perk is pretty big game. Like, I'm pretty sure we're attacking with this guy, too, because he just becomes a 4-5. Right? No, a 6-7. Yikes. And we also have 7 mana, so we can actually... We'll have this guy untapped, this guy untapped, and a planes. So we can activate, attack with both, and still Devouring Light. That's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got the crackly throats. Boom, 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 boom. All right, put you to two. <laughs> Seems good. Having Devouring Light here is pretty insane. Yep, that is fine. That will be a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, this is going to be nice. No Brave the Elements. If you had Brave the Elements, I'm pretty sure you would have swung. Yep, that's pretty nutso. Um, what do we do here? You have to block. None of these guys have Trample. Get an Emblem. Uh, we're just going to actually pump... You, I guess. <clears throat> I 
If they block here, we'll obviously kill it. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just going to jump block here. Oh. All right. I guess they... Do they have something in response to this that they didn't play last turn? Okay, sure. Get a guy. Yeah, that's actually okay. So they have no cards in hand? That seems good for us. <clears throat> prevent all but one of that damage? Actually, that's insane. I thought it was prevent one of that damage, so you just get like a force field. All right, well, that's pretty good. Here comes the recovery. I mean, I'll throw a bunch of dudes in front of this guy if that's how it comes, if that's how it shakes out. I'm actually still tempted to throw two guys in front of this just to make sure we get the emblem. Because, like, here's the thing about our enchantments right now. We're basically trading this for this, and we get to keep a Johnny. Um, our emblem right now is... Or uh, our, our enchantments right now, we don't really need the 2-2. Because any of our enchantments that we hit are just going to probably take over the game anyway. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's emblem. Is it just LTU? If source deal damage to you, are a planeswalker. Prevent all but one of it. Oh, wow. That's great. That's good stuff. Well, it only prevents them from drawing cards from humans specifically, but yeah, that's going to be kind of funny. And that'll do. Sarah Angel and a Johnny Emblem. All right, this game was great. I'm okay with it. Let's actually see if we can make some changes here, if we want to change anything. Devouring Light seems pretty good. I'll Devouring Light in 41. I think Devouring Light's pretty relevant here. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell your opponent we're doing a survey and ask why they punt. Hey, yeah, listen, I uh, quick question. I'm just taking a survey. I was wondering if you could explain to me why you did the thing you did. Why are things deleting? That's really weird. Maybe they are deleted. Maybe everything's broken. Uh, this hand seems good but slow. I think we can keep it. Hexproof Dobbs? We have a Dob. We have a Glade Cover Scout that has Hexproof. They went to five on the play. I mean our hand's very good. If they if they're not if they're not super aggressive, I feel good about our hand. On a scale of one to five, or one is completely embarrassed, and five is not embarrassed at all. How do you feel about naming Soldier with Obelisk of Erd? I probably want to play Glorious Anthem first because it just guarantees the buff. Also, if we draw... Oh, boy. No dogs allowed. All right, so this is fun. We can go a Johnny into Sarah Angel. I don't think there's any creature they can play that would be able to pressure a Johnny into death. Um, yeah, that's not it. Sarah does come into play tapped, unfortunately. All right, so this goes to five. <clears throat> they attack it for two. Johnny goes to three. We play Sarah Angel tapped. 
Put Johnny up to four. They attack it again. If they play another creature, it's just bad. I guess we're just going to play Path here. And then next turn we can play Sarah Tapped. No horsies? What does that even mean? What are you even saying, Swinny boy? And, uh, alright, so they're on the, the, the two mana plan, which is not ideal. Oh, Swinny boy. <clears throat> this is probably the best creature to have against their in, these guys, because they can't block it, and, uh, I don't know, it doesn't guess it's fine against us. Every creature is fine. Hexproof Vine Mare? No, no Vine Mares. There's only one, right? It's not like they're horsies, plural. Oh, a Vine Mare would have been gas in this deck. I almost feel like we, we failed the stipulation because no Vine Mare. Just kidding. Our hand is two bomb-ass enchantments right now. And we have two bomb-ass enchantments on board, so I'm pretty sure this is a successful stip. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. I think we just a Johnny here. Pump this to give it lifelink. Yeah, this is great. Could have also Spectre awarded, which probably puts us way ahead. But I was actually more in, I was more concerned with uh, triggering this, so that was pretty greedy. The problem is if they kill our Sarah Angel, we're in bad shape, but I don't foresee that happening now. I might just want to Spectre Ward next turn, because I want I do want to make sure... Like, if we just ward this thing, they probably can't do anything against it, right? I'm going to be honest, I don't think I care about this guy. I also don't think there's any one mana red or white spell that deals with this, so. I'm going to attack you for nine, and that's going to be the end. If you ward, you can't. Yeah, but I think that's fine when we have a 7-7 seven, seven Sarah Angel forever. Or what, 4, 5, 6, 8, 8, and 8, 8? I think, I think that's, a, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. If you know what I'm saying. And they also had a Johnny. God, there's so many Johnnies. <coughs> Harm's Way just is basically just a removal spell against these decks. I'm going to take out the Ranger's Guile and bring in Harm's Way. Our deck has a lot of late games, so I feel like if we just survive. <clears throat> if you ward it, you can't aura it. Yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. Uh, Spectre Ward does not remove wards. It says it on there. It says, this effect doesn't remove auras. Does it remove Burt Ward? Oh, I see what you did there. Um, no. Because that would really be robbing us of some value, I think. God, I hope you guys get that. That was a fantastic pun. Uh, Burt Ward played Robin in the in the old Batman and Robin TV show. I will keep this hand. How do we lose when we have True Believer? <clears throat> How do we lose? Come on, Stan. You got this. Ooh, can we put Angelic Destiny on True Believer? Oh my god, I'm going to lose it. Oh, 
god. I'm almost tempted to wait for these just for the sigil. I think it's stronger to have two 4 4 angels in the late game than it is to play this early and probably not activate it. Oh boy. Can't handle it. I can't handle it. <clears throat> Tap out for something stupid. Let me play this. I'm going to screen cap it and it's going on the internet. Oh, I think it's going to happen. Oh, Johnny. Sounds good. All right. Now we don't have to worry about that guy at least. We did it. Hold on. My screen cap is not working. I'm having a bad time here. All right, hold on. Let's check out Task Manager. Oh, Task Manager's not working either. I mean, I can always screen cap this later, I guess. How far are we into this? One hour and seven. 107. Yep. Probably just attacking here. 6-6 six, six is pretty good. It's also a three-turn clock. <sighs> I mean, it's a 6-6, six, six, and they're, they're playing red and white, so like the only color that can effectively remove this would be white. No, I can't. Nothing on my taskbar is actually working right now, so... Actually, I guess I can pull it up through here. Hold on. Snipping tool. Was it under accessories, right? I imagine. I don't know where the snipping tool is. All right. Well, nothing's nothing's working. Nothing. I need to like restart Explorer here. <clears throat> we can do it guys true believer coming at you That's so gas, dude. That's so gas. Oh, the creature type is angel. Fuck. can't i can't handle it man this is not okay um yeah all right <clears throat> wow i'm like so blown away how cool that was that was unreal we got to win with the true believer that had angelic destiny on it whose creature type was changed to angel fuck holy man the feels dude
Oh god. Um, this is keepable. <clears throat> that was it. That was the moment right there. Wow, I'm like... Our hand's pretty good. We have a five drop and a six drop. Someone's like knocking at the door. It's very strange. I think this game's probably over. We have Sarah for next turn. Yeah, Bounty is very stupid good. <coughs> Ideally, we hit Spectre Ward here. Mobilization's fine. Yep, had a feeling that was coming. But we get to drop a bounty here. So, three for one, pretty good. Yikes. I felt like we were in good shape. Now I'm wondering. Now I'm questioning. <clears throat> well, that feels good. We want to have guys out before we play our non-guys because then if we play our non-creature spells the counters don't go on anything. Yep, that's a good one. I imagine you're going to put counters on all your things. Yeah, that's pretty busted. Yep. No blocks. Triplicate spirits? I would have definitely played that first and then put counters on my guys. Resplendent angel. Into mobilization. That seems actually pretty good. Mobilization is going to give us three counters on probably the angel. However, we're probably just dead to the Sajani, right? <coughs> Yeah, I think we're actually just dead here. Wow, that was a pretty good recovery. I thought we had that game, and then we did not have that game. War Priest is definitely coming in. I'm going to take Stan out. I'm going to put Stan on the sidelines for now. Mm, take out Path.
All right, we'll submit like this. <clears throat> Give me one second. I'm going to see what was going on out there. <laughs> no idea who that was or why they were knocking at the door but uh, this hand is great I will keep it this is the second time today someone knocked at the door that I did not recognize and they didn't like call or message ahead of time so I have no idea who they were but I am working so if you're just going to come over here unsolicited oh that's pretty good It's the rat mob looking for their money. Where's Michael? We know he's in there. <clears throat> if we can draw planes into forest, I think I'm good. Or planes into planes, even. I'll take that. Planes, planes, forest. Come on, planes here so I can... Okay. Well, that's sad because I don't even want to play this guy because it guarantees us a land next turn. That's really not good. I think we're going to end up 2-1 here, guys. I'm not feeling it. Uh, I don't think the post is going to be coming at 7 p.m. That's a little too late. So it's just weird that, like... So if they play fourth land, we can go knight, <clears throat> get a land. Sure. I, I'm, I'm probably just going to go Hieromancer's. Hieromancer's buddy. If we hit a land here. Um, Actually, that's good. <laughs> that's actually very good. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, that was nice. <clears throat> that worked out quite well. Other white creatures? Sure, that's fine. Yep. Oh, this is fine. Uh, we'll block first because we have to. <clears throat> Dang it. I guess we just get rid of the... Actually, if we get rid of this, we can double hit a Johnny, which is nice. And then they're left with a 1-1. One, one. We can also Armored Ascension on here and kill the Ajani, which is nice. I really kind of want to get rid of the Ajani here. <clears throat> I think we can save the cage. Being able to just use the Ajani mana this turn is nice. One, two, three. So we're just going to put it on you, despite it being worse. But if they Wrath of God, I don't want them to have an Ajani, so... Yeah, it's fine. I mean, that's like one of the the, 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 the dirt's already done. The dirt's a deed. The deed is already done. Yeah, this is fine. I'll take five. 
Huh. Oh, that's pretty good. Four cards left, huh? Probably not attacking here. Uh, they gain two back, so we're only netting three. And we're putting in a position where, like, they have to wrath here or else they're just going to get boned. All right, so the wrath is looking less and less likely. Oh, triplicate spirits makes it look even less likely. A land there would have been nice so we can play Sigil, but I feel like we're in a position where we just have to get rid of that Paragon. So. <coughs> Doesn't look great. I think even if we lose, even if we go 2-1 in this draft, I think we still won. I think our desk deck was super successful, and that True Believer Angelic Destiny moment was unparalleled. Yep, that's pretty good. I Okay. That is a thing. <laughs> sure, sure. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We got a 1 here. That's a thing, I guess. You have first strike, so I guess we'll just block you here. Not sure how we win this. That's not going to do it. A fourth land would have been... We missed five land drops, which is, you know, that's pretty reasonable. Block, block, block. We still take three. Yep, that's going to be the end. All right. Unfortunate, but I think our deck was still pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, and on MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. All those links are in the description below, so feel free to check those out. Really appreciate that kind of support. Uh, MeUndies.com, you'll get 15% off. You'll also get free shipping and free returns. Uh, I had a bunch of people from the stream already check those out, so uh, hopefully you guys will as well. It'll help me out. It'll help you out. Everybody wins, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it.